Greetings to all of humanity, it's really a joy, it's my pleasure, it's my honor to be out here as usual in nature greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. Now before I go in to my subject, I want to just encourage you to like, to subscribe to comment or to share this video because when you do that it will do something to the algorithm and allow the channel to grow also i would like to encourage you to support this work for uh, for allowing uh the ads to play for at least 30 seconds so now with that being said i want to speak to you concerning 12 things that you can do to raise your vibration because there are many people who want to see their manifestation in their life, but it's very important for you to raise your vibration. So, the very first thing I would encourage you to do to help you to lift your vibration is to ease off of the news. So you're going to be listening less negative news. Now, I'm not saying that you should know what is going on in the world. But all I'm saying to you, less news. Feed and less news. And instead, feed your mind on more positive things. Because, you see, you can listen to the news and react. Because you allow the news to get caught up with your emotion. Okay, and as you know, most of the news is basically negative and it's propaganda and it's a, a media platform that they use to control the minds of the people in terms of them thinking in a fair. Okay, another thing that I would encourage you to do also would be spending more alone time. You need to spend time with yourself. So isolation is very important because it is when you are with yourself that you'll be able to think and you can practice positive self-talking and all of us do talk to ourselves. So spending more time with yourself is very important to lift your vibration. Thirdly, Stay away from the tell vision. You supposed to be the real visionary. And you ought to know that the television or tell vision is a replica of a man. And the real vision that you're supposed to have is telepathic vision. It's vision whereby you can see in the future or believing in the eye that is in you, the power that is within you. That is what you're supposed to be connected with. Because the television can be used to program you by impressing your subconscious mind with the visions that you are beholding on the television. And so for many years, the television has been used to program the minds of the people. So you can relax from the television. Okay. Also, when it comes to social media, you can waste your time and waste your life away on social media. Because these things can become very addictive and it can program you and keep you into bad habits. I would call them bad habits. And these habits will shift you in a paradigm. And it's very hard to get out of paradigms okay so you'll definitely need to lessen the amount of social media that you are involving in you're gonna use your time more wisely that is why i would encourage you to use your time to practice things like visualization so you should be visualizing more if you want to raise your vibration okay so that's another thing that you would need to do 
to lift your vibration. That, that would be visualizing more. Also, you would need to spend more time in meditation. Okay, more time in meditation. And I believe, I believe I would have name about, let me see, uh, less news, less television, more Allah one time away from social media. Uh, fifth, practicing visualization. Six, meditation. Practice to calm your mind down. Because to meditate is to calm your mind down. Seven, you need to practice affirmation every day in your life. Affirm your life how you want it to be. Okay, so you must practice affirmation. Eight, you need to practice breath work. Deep breathing. You have to practice to be, breathe consciously and to breathe from your diaphragm. So you would need to practice more diaphragmic breathing. So breath work is very important. Ninth would mean more sunlight. You would need to spend more time in sunlight. You need more sun, you need more vitamin D. To help to raise your vibration. Also, I would encourage you to practice gratitude. So, gratitude would be like the tenth thing you would need to do also. You wake up in the morning with thanksgiving in your heart. You go into bed with thanksgiving in your heart. Always live in the attitude of gratitude. Always giving thanks. Never allow yourself to be worried or to become too anxious for anything. I think I would have named about 10 things there. Okay. Uh, another thing that I would encourage you to do is to drink a lot of pure water. Get a lot of good water that comes from the earth, spring water, to drink to help to even alkalize your body and to flesh flush toxins out of your body also remember most of your body is water so you need water also to help you to lift your vibration and not to forget good food i think that's 11 about 11 there now good food you would need good food so i would pro i would encourage you to eat more organic food more food that is grown from the earth and be nourished through the sunlight. Okay, so eat more natural food, more food from the earth, and more food that are alkaline. Also, I would encourage you, which I think this should be like the, the last thing, okay? So the 12th thing would be exercise. I would encourage you to exercise because it's very important for you to exercise your body so you become more flexible and to also help to detox your body to sweat and so on and for your organs to work more efficient and so on to help you with sleeping and so on to help you with concentration to help you with focus to help you with all of these things when you exercise so my brother and my sisters there's a lot of things that you have to do to raise your vibration, which means you have to become more disciplined, which means also that you have to challenge yourself. Because remember, the things that you will be able to manifest in this world, you will have to lift your vibration to come to that level so you can attract it into your reality. So my brother and my sisters, remember, everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. So you have to vibrate to that level of frequency, as I would have said before, to attract that which you so desire. And you, then when that happens, you will realize it is not what you just desire going to come to you, but what you are.
you would attract what you would have become to yourself. So I hope what I've been saying that it makes sense to you and you will put all these things that I would have mentioned to work in your life. It takes some time for you to basically master all of these things. Okay. And some of them, it doesn't mean you have to cut them out 100%, but you can just cut back. You know what I mean? Like the news and so on and the television, you look, and look at less of them. Sometimes I, I would hear people say they don't watch movie, movies, but I can't lie to you and say I don't watch movies. I watch movies at times, especially just on a weekend, basically on a weekend. And most of the time I try to choose movies that... I can actually decode and get something out of it, okay? Not just for um, action and, and, and entertainment. It's for more than that, okay? Because there's all subliminal messages through the movies. So my brother and my sisters, if what I've been saying to you, you believe that it can really help you to lift your vibration, and this is the very first time that you're listening to me and this, this message resonating with you, I would say to you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. So, with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, and lift your vibration by putting these things to work in your life. So, with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.